Hello friends, I'm Neshek from blog2.com and in this video I'll teach you everything you need to know about email marketing. We'll be using MailChimp which is absolutely free and amazing platform so you don't need to spend a single penny for that. Now let's see what all we'll be learning in this video. First, we'll create a MailChimp account. Then, we'll build some beautiful templates. Then, after that we'll create a list and after that we'll set up different campaigns. Then we'll integrate MailChimp with popular plugins like Sumomi and WP Forms etc. And at the end we'll see how to collect emails making different types of forms like pop-up forms, smart form etc. Soon I'll be creating an Udemy course uh, on email marketing which will be very deep and very amazing. So whenever that course is ready, I'll give that link in the video description below so you can check that link. That will be very very helpful. And if you find this video helpful then make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. Also make sure to press that thumbs up button. With that being said, let's get started. To create a MailChimp account, open a new tab and type in MailChimp.com and here click on sign up free. Now put in your email and password username over here. I have just created a email for this purpose. So I'll put in that email. Uh, it was Nayas MailChimp I guess. And uh, I think this is this will be the username and we, the password should be something you know something different like this. Let me show you. You know you can see this password. It has a capital letter which is uppercase, lowercase. It has special characters. Uh, then it has number and so it it should contain the password should be something like this. Okay, if you put in your mobile number and something, this will not accept it because your mobile number doesn't have any you know uh, alphabets so make sure you set some password which has uppercase lowercase numbers special characters and so on so just put in your email name your username password and click on get started okay it says we have sent you a message to this particular email address open it up and click on activate account we'll take it from there okay so let's do that Okay, so here it is. This is the mail. Just open it up and click on this activate account button. Now we can close these two tabs. Okay, now you just have to confirm that you're not a robot. So just click on this button. Okay, now you have to fill in some, you know, very simple and easy uh, things over here. So first thing you have to put in your first name and last name. So let's do that then click on continue now tell us about your business so what is the name of your business so my business name is blogdude my i have a website called www.blogdude.com so i'll put in there you have to put in your website obviously over here now click on continue now put in your address over here i'll just put in mumbai because this is just for tutorial purposes then i'll click on continue now it is asking does your business sell anything online I'll just select no because I don't sell anything online so just select accordingly and click on continue and the last step is to con connect your social media so suppose you want to connect your Facebook just click on this plus button and just click on continue as Nayar or continue as whatever your account is uh, logged in okay so let me just do only me so that no one can see this click on ok fine ok again okay so that is done you can see this tick mark over here now let's connect twitter over here just click on this plus button authorize app okay so both these things are done so we have done all the five steps now click on continue Okay, now you have some, you know, a newsletter options. I don't recommend this, but if you want uh, some help in getting started and you want some newsletter regarding e-commerce stories, tips and experiments, you can tick mark these things, but I don't require this and I don't think it is, you know, important. Just click on this let's go button. 
Okay guys, so we are done. The first step is done, which is creating a MailChimp account. It was really, really easy. Now just you can just cut this thing. Now the second thing is to create a template. You can create list first, template, anything. But I have decided to create template first and after that we'll create list. So to create a template, just click over here which says template at the top. Okay, so it says you don't have any saved template. Obviously we don't have it. Now here is the create template button. Just click on that. Now here we have three different options, layouts, themes and code your own. So when you click on code your own, you can import HTML or you can just paste in your code over here. And when you click on themes, you have some pre-made uh, layouts over here. So you can just select anything, just edit it and you can use it. For example, you have uh, these five featured layouts. Let's see first how to do that. Let's select this one monthly contest. Okay, so you have this thing over here. Now you can change everything according. For example, suppose if you want to change this name, just click on this thing. And from here, you can change this name to whatever you want. For example, I have put in my name. Then you can also change this subtitle. Okay, so it's all up to you. So it's quite easy. You can understand this from here. Then we have this button over here. You can click on that button and you can change few things. For example, the button text over here says submit photos but instead of this suppose we want to say click here so we can type it there and we can also redirect it to different uh, page if you want so let me put in my website name over here my website url so now whenever someone clicks on this button they will be redirected to my website okay so it is quite easy you can understand it from here but i will not do this way I'll uh, just start from the scratch. I don't need any, you know, pre-made template, pre-made layout. So let me show you how you do that. Just click on save and close. I'll and, and here at the bottom, you see this uh, save and exit. Just click on save and exit. You can name it anything because this is getting saved. We don't want to use this, but just we are saving it. For example, let's name it template one. Click on save. Okay, so as I said you, we have this thing over here, but we won't be using it. We'll create a new template that from scratch. So click on this button. Okay, fine. So now instead of themes, we want to create uh, click on layouts and you have different layouts as you can see on your screen, follow up, tell a story, make an announcement. So it, it gives you an idea of what kind of thing you want. Okay. So if you want to sell a product, you can select this one. If you want to make an announcement, you can select this one and you can make uh, the changes accordingly. If you want to one column full width, you can select this. If you want one by two columns, you can select this. It is one by two column full width. So everything is over here. So let me select the first one. So just click on that. Okay, so we have this thing over here. This is just a layout, a simple format. Now we have to change everything accordingly. Okay, so let's start doing that first. I'll change the color of the background for this uh, section, the top section. So here when you hover this section, you'll see that two options. You can have a image in the background or you can change the color of the background. So first let's see how to change the image. So you can click on image over here. At present, we don't have anything in our gallery and this is actually a very good thing. You know, you can save and upload your files, your images over here and you can use it from here. So this is really good. Let's upload an image. Click on upload. I have a file name over here and these are the images which I'll be using. So for example, let's select this image, the Elementor image. Click on open. Now, as you can see, we have that image in the background and this is really looking awesome. But I don't want the image in the background. As I said, you, I, I was just showing you that you can do that, but I'll be adding uh, some color in the background. OK, so let me remove this. So again, I'll click on this image. OK. OK, fine. I don't want to use this. So I'll just cut this thing from here first. Now I don't want anything over here. So I'll just click on this clear button and it will clear the image or whatever setting you have done over there. 
Now let us put some color at the background. Now if you put any color you can see so I would recommend you to put some color for example uh, if you have uh, let me show you my website first blogdo.com then I can understand I can make you understand better. Now here suppose if you will see uh, everything is blue over here so basically I am following this color structure the blue color structure so matching I can select that color over here okay so that will be much better for you but I'll just show you I'm just showing you some beautiful colors so that you can understand how beautiful this looks okay so we have this color in the background then I want to change this thing which says show your products and I want to put my company's name over here so I'll just click on this and I'll get this option I'll change it from here I'll put in my company name blog dude incorporation okay it is not incorporation I'm just putting it now we want to change the logo from here so I'll just click on this logo and at present this is the this is actually a, a image but we want to replace it so I'll just uh, click on replace and I don't want to use this thing over here I want a logo so I'll click on upload and I have this Microsoft logo over here. I'm not a Microsoft fan or something, but I'm, I've just selected this one. So let's select any logo, your company logo. Obviously, you'll select your company logo. You will not select Microsoft or Apple or something like that. You'll select your company logo over here. So select this one and click on open. Okay, so you can see the image or uh, the logo over there. Now we have the logo, we have the uh, company name over here and by the way this is the perfect format which I am showing you. Uh, this is the perfect format uh, of how your newsletter should look like okay because you know we get some ugly newsletters uh, on our emails so we don't want to create something ugly like that. We want to create really amazing thing. Okay, and make sure you, we are using images and colors uh, to attract people. Okay, because this kind of thing looks really attractive, really awesome. If you have only text or something, that would look really terrible. And we want to, you know, use some beautiful colors, logos. And we also want to add this call to action buttons because at the end of the day, we are selling something. Okay, we want our user, the reader to do something to to do an action. For example, if you're selling a product, we want them to buy the product or if you, you know, something like that. If you're, if you want their email address, then you might, you know, just uh, add an option over here and that will get you their email address, something like that. Okay, so we are basically trying to trying uh, so that the user must do some action. Okay, so I hope uh, you guys understood that. Now here you can add a photo over here and as I said you earlier we have to add images and colors to you know make it look more attractive. So let's add this image over here just click on this. And again there is there is a image a very ugly image we have to change that. So let's replace this and let me put this image over here or maybe let me upload a new image and let's upload this beautiful DB image click on open. Okay, so we have this image over here and if you want to make this uh, image full width, uh, you know, you can just select this option. You can just click on this edit. Go to settings and here you have edge to edge. Now as you can see when I select edge to edge, this gets stretched out. Okay, so you can select, you can see the changes over here. Fine, so you have this image over here and let's see some more options. Okay, so we have two options content. You can change the content from here. You can change the image. You can change the uh, size of the image. You can rotate it. For example, when you click on edit. Okay, you have lightning color. You can change the color, sharpness, you know, all these options uh, for uh, you can select any frame or something. For example, let's select any frame. Let me show you something like this. Okay, let's select this one. Now we can see this uh frame over here from both the side i'm just showing you that you can do these things but i don't recommend this just cut this thing and uh, we just want to close this okay we have a simple image over here now we have to change this text okay so you, basically you you should have an idea what you're doing and there should be a purpose 
uh, behind sending these newsletters okay so for example my purpose is over here to get more subscribers of if you see my website over here if you click on any of the link for example let's click on this first link okay this is regarding one of my videos wherein, wherein i have shown how to create an e-commerce website now whenever i create these kind of web, uh, videos i provide free images and uh, free images and if i have used any css code or something then i provide those things for free and for that i i grab the you know i require the user to subscribe to my channel only then they will get the free uh, images uh, free images of free code css code whatever i'm giving for free so that is my aim of giving something for free to get more subscribers and here your aim should be to get more uh, more subscribers in terms of email address okay and here my aim is to get more subscribers in terms of youtube subscribers okay so here you are not getting any uh, you cannot see anything but let me show you let me open this thing in an incognito window so that you can see everything more properly let's open this in an incognito window now let's scroll down now as you can see over here uh, let, uh, let's first go to the original section here because i'm logged in over here as you can see the wordpress dashboard is over here so because i'm logged in i'm not getting this option everything is unlocked for me but over here this section is logged okay the link which is providing the free images and css is logged and i want the user to subscribe to my channel so that they can get this thing for free so this this is the basic uh, this is basically the main idea behind providing anything for free so you can provide uh, some ebooks for free or some coupon codes or something so you should have a particular idea behind you know sending this newsletter a particular plan behind sending this newsletter so for for example suppose in this video or in this newsletter i am sending free dv layouts for example if you see my videos which are based on dv theme there i whatever i have created in the video uh, on or whatever the design is i provide those designs for free and obviously i require the user to su to subscribe to my youtube channel only then they'll get everything for free so that is how it works okay so suppose i'm gi giving this dv layout so i have this dv image over here then i'll change the text i'll click on over here and i'll change the text instead of this heading i'll put in free okay maybe something like this uh, get premium DB layouts for free okay okay fine so this looks amazing a very attractive and very nice uh, uh, you know heading uh, that you are ge giving premium DB layouts for free so you know the user gets excited so this is really amazing you have to have something like this then after that you should uh, type something about this oh so okay so it could be anything okay so like uh, again you can just type in anything you want like you get uh, but i just don't like typing guys please excuse me i'll grab some lorem ipsum text okay but basically you know this is the title and you have to have some something just talking about the title okay whatever it is so I'll just grab some lorem ipsum. Let's grab this much. Let's paste it over here. Fine. So this is talking about this uh, get premium DV layout so free. Now I will provide a link, a call to action button. So I'll just click on this button and let's change something. So instead of start shopping, let's type it get it now. Fine. It says get it now and I'll provide the web address. So suppose let's select a DV video from here. Okay, so this is a DV video. Let's click on this one. Okay, as you can see at the bottom, I have this layouts download and images download and this is available to me, but this won't be available to the users, but I can just provide these things for free. So what I can do is I can just uh, link this to the file okay so i'll just click uh, right click on this thing copy link address and i can just paste in the url and as you can see it is uh, redirecting to wp contents uploads and there is a zip file over here 
so this is very very uh, useful but if you don't have something like this then you can just upload the file over here okay so you can instead of link to web address you can just select link to file and you can upload that file for example let's not select that zip file let's select this image over here okay so i can just uh, give this image for free i'll select this and click on insert okay so whenever someone clicks on this button they will download this uh, file so you can uh, either do it uh, through your web address or you can just uh, give them the file directly or you can just oh what is this email address i don't know why is this over here but it's you get the idea you know you you can upload the file directly over here or you can redirect them to some different page for example if you're talking about some different coupons or some some udemy course i create udemy courses as well as i said you in the beginning so i suppose i want to redirect them to that udemy course then i can just link the udemy course over here so we are done uh, most of the things are done over here and you can see this is really easy you know mailchimp has really done a great job over here so we have the logo i think the logo is quite big so let's decrease that let's select this and here we didn't notice this actually i didn't notice this and i'm sure you guys noticed this so it says this image is so big that it may something in boxes so what we, let, let's fix this okay so click on this let's fix it because logo are um, you know quite smaller and this is really big so let's select something like uh, 200 by 42 okay quite small logo and click on apply okay so this is how it will look very small but we want a small logo logos are obviously small click on save and okay so the changes have taken place you can see the logo over here and uh, I, I can also notice that uh, that the microsoft text is not looking very good because the background is light so let's select some different background color like this okay so this is now looking nice and now we cannot see the text so let's select the text and if you want to change the text color you can just select everything select the text and here you have this text color select this and let's select white from here now you can see this so i purpose purposely did that i for i purposely changed the background color first and then i'm changing it again just to show you guys that you can do all these things from here okay you can change the logo size or the image size you can change the uh, color of the text and so on so i purposely did that now let's scroll down now here you are talking about the main thing which you're providing in the newsletter which is uh, dv themes uh, dv layouts for free but you know many a times the user which is who is getting the newsletter may not be interested in it so you can provide some more options over here okay so in the single newsletter you can target different products for example i don't know i also provide elementor layouts for free so let me add elementor over here so i'll just select this one and here you have caption one and caption two and obviously the caption one is talking about this left column and the cop caption two is talking about this right column so let's make changes in the first column the caption one first we'll change the image we'll replace it and we'll select this one elementor because as i said you earlier i'll be giving link to free elementor layouts so just select it and click on insert so we have our image over here now we have to change the title here it says related products i'll just type in a uh, free okay elementor layouts and it's really difficult you know talking and typing so please excuse me for that now again uh, you can change this thing uh, so let us grab some more lorem ipsum from here okay you can just put in anything about this like you know get free elementor layouts or something now here you have with this link this is actually a text but this is linked to some different page so if you want to change the link and obviously you will want to change this thing so you can just select this thing and you can select this option okay which says link and you can put in that web address for example let's select uh, let me select an elementor video and there i'll i would have you know given free layouts of elementor okay this is an elementor video i guess yes i used elementor for creating this e-commerce website so let me open this one 
okay so yeah here it is it has used elementor so i can provide this link from here okay so i'll just provide this link and i'll put this link over here and click on insert fine so the link has changed which is awesome and i can also change the text and I, after that i can link for example i can just type in get elementor or i or maybe this is just a button so i'll just type in click here or get it now something like that so let's type in click here and we can link this thing to the same page so just select this thing and select this link button from here and paste in the web address and here also you can provide file or something like that so click on insert now as you can see this has turned into a link which is awesome so we are done with the caption one now let's select caption two and let's change the product uh, this image and now i want them to redirect i want the user to redirect to some of my videos or one of my videos so i'll upload a thumbnail for that video so i'll select this video wherein i have shown how to you know create a website like facebook wherein people can connect with each other they can send friend request private message chat and so on which was really cool video so i am just selecting that link from here okay so I, I i'll be redirecting them to one of my this video so i have my thumbnail over here and here i'll put in instead of this title which says what's on sale i'll put in my video title uh, create a website like facebook okay so this is also very catchy uh, title everyone wants everyone would like wh whoever is interested in creating website would really like to create a website like facebook which is really cool so now we have i have changed this thing to something like that again let's grab some more lorem ipsum and let's change this thing from here okay fine and again instead of this text now i'll type in watch video okay and i'll link this to my youtube video so i'll just select this and here is the link button so i'll select this link button and i'll put in the link to my youtube video so let's see this is the video so let's right click over here copy link address and paste it over here click on insert so as you can see guys this is really useful and this, that is why email marketing is really famous uh, because you know you have you're selling one thing over here and you're getting giving more options so which is really amazing and this really works okay now at the bottom we have more options for example we have this thing you can also change the color of this bottom uh, background okay so it, it has also a dark color if you want you can change this thing for example the same way you can select any color from your i don't recommend that i like this black color so i won't do that i was just showing you that you can do so now let's select this social icons now here you can select the uh, social icons or change your social icons for example facebook url it is facebook.com slash blog dude for me you can put in your url over here twitter.com slash real layer okay and you can also add some text over here for example facebook okay so it's all up to you but i don't recommend that because the uh the icon the logo says that this is facebook logo this is twitter logo so that is not needed according to me if you want you can insert that and rest i don't use instagram i have a website so i'll put in my website over here blogtoot.com fine okay you can change the style if you go to style you have this background color is uh, this this you can change anything for example like this but we don't want any color so i'll just select no colors okay border color is a uh, border what type of border do you want we don't want any border border or anything this is for the container setting as you can see over here it says container so container is you know when you click on this container you can see the red portion so that is the container okay so we don't want to change the background color we don't want to put any border or something over there now here you have the type you can just you know change the type change the font and everything so we don't want to do anything over here you can let's go to settings now here the display is only settings if you want to display text and icons then you can select this now it's displays 
facebook twitter link website whatever it, it is you can change the alignment full width or half width whatever you can change ch uh, select this thing how it looks like you know the size of this icons and so on i think this one is really looking nice better than the default one so i'll select this one and icon style if you want colorful icons you can select this if you want like this whatever you want so basically the background is dark so you can select something like this white color or you can also select this colorful uh the colorful ones always looks better now click on save and close i really like this one now here everything will be changed automatically so you don't have to do any changes for example let's click on this so you don't have to put in current year or year that will already be uh, automatically be done list company it is the name of the company which you had put uh, when you signed up with mailchimp then after that uh, whatever address you put uh, you have put when you signed up with mailchimp will be over here and the user will get this unsubscribe button if you if they want to unsubscribe from your newsletter or something so i think this is really really looking amazing our newsletter is really looking amazing and you can just save and close and we'll use this layer i'll show you how to use this now you can also test it for example you can preview this you can send a test email so that you can know how this looks like so let's send a test email so select this option let's put a uh, email for example let me send this to my email address fine click on send test okay now let me see that okay here we have let's select this let's select this one okay we have our uh, logo over here we have this thing and this is really really looking amazing you know not like any ordinary newsletter this is really catchy it has different colors images call to action buttons so this is really really amazing and you have this thing so your logo and everything now you cannot see this thing your company name and everything because this is just a demo test uh, email but when this is live and when you send this thing to real email addresses then obviously you can see they will see your company name and everything your address over here this is just a test email that's why we are seeing something like this but at least we can see that this is working and this is really looking amazing okay so let's cut this thing now we have successfully created the template now let's create a list so first click on save and exit now let's name it this I'll name it anything for example i'll name it real template because this is the template which i'll be using now click on save fine so we have this real template over here i don't think we need this template one so you can just delete this from here Okay, let's uh, let's tick mark this and uh, delete is this is the option and uh, to delete it you just have to type delete so let's do that fine so that is deleted let's refresh okay so this is the template which we'll be using now let's create a list so to create a list you just have to click on this button or this link which says list okay so i have already created a list which is blog dude and it has one subscriber but i'll show you how to create a different list or new list how you can create a new list from scratch so just click on this button which says create list okay do you want to create a new list or you just want to add a subdivide okay we want to create a new list so we'll click click on over here create list button now you have to give a name to the list okay so this is uh, make sure you give some you know nice name because this name will be visible to the user okay here as you can see at the bottom it says uh, your subscriber will see this so make sure it 
it is something appropriate okay a uh, good example could be acme company newsletter okay so let's use that example and you also have this bad example you know some i mean some really terrible text over here so let's select that example only blog dude company newsletter fine so this is really looking amazing now from default from email address so i'll put in my email address over here so this is the email address uh, from which they will receive all the newsletters for example whenever this receive a new uh, newsletter and when they open this newsletter and they see who is the sender then they will see okay this guy is the sender okay default from name now this is the name which will be visible so make sure you put some a uh, name which is really you uh, know whenever they see this they recognize okay for uh, this is from this guy or this is from this company so i'll put in my name over here fine now you remind people how they signed up to your list because many times you know what happens and i sh i'm sure it has happened to you uh, you don't know how why and how these newsletters are coming you have some uh, newsletters like different banks and all these things coming and you don't remember why and how did how why are they coming you never signed up for these those newsletters so you don't want that to happen to your users so that's why you you should remind them why uh, they are seeing this newsletter so we can type in something like uh, thank you for signing up for newsletter from blog to dot com something like this uh, and you can add some more text like uh, you will or maybe we will let's uh, do this we will send you free dv and elementor if i could okay elementor layouts fine so you can type something like this first you are thanking them for you know subscribing to your company you make sure you put in your company name so that they know why why they are getting that and from where they are getting that and you can also give them a reason to not unsubscribe from your newsletter so we are seeing we are saying will send you free layout so obviously when you get something for free you don't want to unsubscribe okay you will you will be like okay fine i want to receive something for free so this is also a good practice now you have to put in your company name address and so on over here now after that we have some notification options so let's select daily summary if you select one by one then what happens whenever someone subscribe to your channel or subscribe to your newsletter then you will get an email so suppose a uh, 10 put 10 different people have subscribed to your newsletter or uh, in one day you'll get 10 different emails we don't want that we'll select the first one uh, so that you get only a daily summary so if even if 10 people or 100 people have subscribed to your newsletter you'll get only one email per day so that you and uh, there will be summary how many people subscribed how many people unsubscribed and so on now click on save fine so now we have created the list successfully now it says we have stats we don't we cannot see any stats we cannot see any contacts because this is just a fresh new list we don't have any stats we don't have any contacts now we have to create sign up forms so click on this sign up forms now there are different type of sign up forms like general form embedded form subscriber pop up form integration first let's see general forms now i'll show you how to create general forms and how to use general form forms first let's see how to create a general form and after that we'll we can see how to use this thing okay so here you have your company name at the top if you want you can remove the company name from the uh, from the uh, from the sign up form but i don't want to do that i want my company name over here you can add some title at the top you can just click on over here and you can add some title or some text at the top let's 
add newsletter click on save and close so you have this newsletter uh, title at the top now we have email address first name and last name last name suppose if you want to add some more options like phone then you can just drag this thing okay maybe you, you have to click on this so just click on phone okay now you have this option over your phone number okay so if you want to require this then you can select phone number as well now we have more when you select this thing then you get more option at the left at the right hand side okay you get this uh, field type which is phone field label what do you want to say phone number so suppose instead of phone number i want to say mobile number okay so i'll select this now don't change these things from here if you want to make this thing required you can just tick mark this field visibility you, it should be visible okay after you're done just click on save field now suppose if you want the email address at the bottom then you can just drag the email address at the bottom it is really easy now we have the email address at the bottom and suppose uh, if you don't want the first name and last name you can just select this and click on this minus okay so it will delete first you will have to type in delete over here and click on delete okay i think we have to click two times over there now same thing for this one uh, i just didn't i want to delete okay f you can delete it from there i thought if you delete it from there it will not ask us to type this thing but it is asking and i also don't want this uh, mobile number so i just want the uh, email address because i don't want the user to feel why the hell i am typing delete everything every time wrong so just select type delete and okay fine so we have this thing i don't also i, I was just showing you how to type this thing uh, how to type a uh, title at the top but i don't think we require this so you can just delete this thing from your so we want a very simple thing okay i think i didn't save that so delete it from your and click on save and close now we'll be thinking why is this so sign up forms are big like your name date of birth and so on but you do you have to remember that this is not that kind of sign up form this is just a simple sign up form wherein you just have the you, know, you just require the user's email address so that you can you know send them newsletters so it has to, you know, i would recommend you to keep only e email address over here but if you want you can add two more options uh, like first name and last name don't add too many options because no one likes to you know fill in those big forms so the smaller it is the better it is you can also delete this uh, title if you want so basically just just keep it very very simple okay so this is how you created a very simple form sign up form there are different types of forms this was the first type which is the general form okay if you want to create different form this is the sign up form if you want to sign up form with alert recaptcha you can select this confirmation thank you unsubscribe form so whenever someone unsubscribes you can select that form and you can create that form accordingly if you don't if you don't create that it doesn't mean that that form won't exist there is a default form which is already there but if you want to make changes then you can select that form okay so i won't show you everything obviously that is uh, all, all is this video will get very long so this is how you create a form now let's see how to use it first let's save everything okay where is the save button by the way i think it is saved so what you have to do first copy this thing copy this url and all if you give this url to someone and they open this in a new tab let's see what happens you can see they will see this thing over here and they can put in their email address and they will be subscribed to your channel or they will be subscribed to your email list which is amazing okay i think uh, everything is done you can design it you can click on this design if you want to change the color of the background color this is the gray color you can change this and we have some header thing if you want to change this thing if you want to change the color of this button you can change that i guess do we have that body forms let's select forms yes button button hovered so you can say change these colors as well so you can design it accordingly okay so it's all up to you so i think we are done with this thing now let's let's go back let's click on sign up forms again so we have this thing so this is the first option is to you know just 
provide this short this short url to your friends or whom uh, whomever you want uh, to sign up and the second option is to link this to your website let me show you for example you can create a new menu over here after contact me uh, you can just type in newsletter or connect something like that and whenever someone clicks on that they will be redirected to this page let me show you so this is i am i am just assuming that you are using wordpress so uh, i'll show you the steps which you will be using in wordpress so go to your website and hover this click on dashboard so basically you have to come to your wordpress dashboard and here at the left hand side you have this appearances how are your how are our appearances and click on menus okay so this is our menu the last option is contact me but i want to add a new option so what i'll do i'll select custom links from here and i'll paste in the link which i just copied from there and in the link text i'll just type in connect or something like that and click on add to menu okay so i have this connect at the bottom uh, i can also add some i can but you know not everyone can do that because I am using a premium theme and you might not be so I am not showing that. Click on save menu. Okay so click on over here so that you can see how your website looks like now. Okay now we have this connect button over here. If I click on this you can select I get this thing. Okay now they can put in their email address and they can subscribe to my subscribe to the list. By the way, this is just one type. I'm going to show you many different types like pop-ups, automatic pop-ups after 5 seconds, after they scroll to the bottom, after they scroll to the uh, middle or something like that. So there are more things coming up in this video. Just stay tuned. So uh, this is not the end. This is just a small example of what you can do. Okay, so let's cut this thing. Come to sign up forms. So this was general forms. Now we have embedded forms as well. Now let's see what is this and how is this useful. So click on embedded forms. Okay, so again we have a very simple thing over here. Uh, just a email address. Now how is this embedded form useful? You can just copy this code from here. Okay, and again go to your website. Okay, I'm again just assuming that you're using WordPress. So go to your WordPress web website and hover this and click on widgets you know you just have to hover over here and click on widgets now here you have to add the text widget you know which is there in all the wordpress website this is the custom html select this click on add to widget and just paste in that code which you just copied from here this is the code paste it over here click on save and let's take this thing at the top okay so drag it at the top and open your website in a new tab so that you can see the changes now you can see over here you have this email address uh, and the the design has changed the design has uh, changed according to the you know my theme design so because i am using a premium theme and these are the you know advantages of using a premium theme here the design was quite boring but here uh, it changed automatically you can see the button color changed and the text uh, the input box also changed so th this is also useful in fact this is very common this is the most common type uh, i am sure you have seen these things in many different website you know you have this the top sidebar the first widget at the sidebar is this thing uh, subscribe to our new mailing list and so on so whenever they put in their email address click on subscribe they will be subscribed to the list okay so this was the second type the embedded one okay now click on sign up forms again let's see what all we have next we have the subscriber pop-up forms let's select this clear and let's see how this pop-up form is what this pop-up form is so this is the pop-up form uh, I'll, I'll show you how to create this but I don't recommend this I'll show you how to create different pop-up forms using C sumo uh, later on in this video and I'll also tell you why not to use this in just a moment okay stay with me let me first show you how to create this form okay so this is how uh, the pop-up form would look like 
first we have this thing over here now we have to put in our own image over here so we'll hover this and we'll get this option add photo just click on this add photo and select anything from here for example let's select this one elementor click on insert okay so we have this thing at the top now we can uh, add some more settings from here for example this is model but you can select this slide option so this will slide from the left hand side or right hand side you can just uh, see this you have fixed option which is fixed at the bottom you can see at the uh, at the bottom of your web page okay so let's select model first and you have this different options like immediately after 5 seconds after 20 seconds uh, when they scroll to the middle when they scroll to the bottom on exit and so on for example if you select after 20 seconds uh, let's select after 5 seconds and you can also select this uh, alignment like uh, right alignment this is the right alignment the image at, is at the right and we have at the left hand side we have this thing you can select left alignment you can select top and so on if you want you can change the text color button size and so on so these are all the designing options you can make this thing full width as well this button you can see so this is also looking good if you want this thing once you're done just click on generate code you'll get this code now if you want to use this thing you can just copy this again go to widget and let's delete this code which we just put and enter this code and click on save now let me open this in a new incognito window so that i can see that model so let's open a new incognito window let me put in my email or uh, my website address and after five seconds it should show that model let's see okay as you can see after five seconds it showed now why i was saying not to use this let me show you i don't know if this is uh, the matter only with me or it is common let let's me show you first let's cut this now if you see over here i cannot see any image on my website my all my thumbnails are gone but if you see over here all my thumbnails are over here so after i put in that code in the uh in that box this is what happens so i don't like to i had this image over here this is also gone everything all the images which i've used in my website has gone maybe i'm doing something wrong i don't know but i this is not good i'll show you how to use pop-up forms don't worry but don't use this one okay i was just showing you the problem that you can get so just delete this thing and click on save okay so this was the third type now let's cut this thing now we we will not use form integration from here we'll f use form integration from the uh, wordpress dashboard now the main important things are done we have created a template we have created a list now it's time to create a campaign so click on campaign now to create a campaign you have to click on this button which says create campaign and you have three different options create an email create an ad create a landing page so when you click on create an ad you will get these more options like facebook ad instagram ad google marketing ad so this is not recommended if you want to uh, create a facebook ad you will create you can create directly from facebook uh, i don't know i don't think why anyone would create this from your i don't know so i don't uh, recommend this i'll just cancel this thing now create a landing page so this is not what we are doing we will be creating an email so select the first one create an email you can name it anything like for example in the template we have seen uh, giving free DB layouts so you can name it like uh, free DB layouts okay and uh, this thing will not be shown to people this is only for us so we can understand you know it, it is descriptive enough so that we can understand okay this was the campaign related to free db layouts so this is really good if we, if it was something like uh, udemy course coupon i would have put in something like this okay like this now click on begin now here we have few options the first one is two to whom all are we sending this thing so i can select this recipient i can select any list now i cannot select the list which i just created because it has no subscribers and when you select that let's see what happens 
okay so it will give you an error send to all subscribe so it, it says to send you need at least one subscriber in your list so i'll resolve this i have another list i'll select that one and click on save okay so you have to do this after you have one or two subscribers at least okay so this was the two option from option let's select add from so add name and from email address so this will be from nayar shake and the email address will be this email fine now click on save subject what so what's the subject line for the campaign click on add subject and this subject will be free TV layouts okay now again uh, it's really hard talking and typing but uh, I'm using free TV layouts because this is very attractive subject you know when you have these kind of subject the open ratio will grow or it will increase because you know whenever someone sees free they want to click on that and they want to learn what is free how to get it for free okay so that that is the basic and very simple strategy so i'm selecting this subject and click on save now it's time for the content so in uh, now we have to click on design email but we have already de designed a template so don't worry we'll select save templates and this is the real template which we have designed for this purpose we'll select this one okay first let's do this i think it will open it i didn't want to do that but okay so it is opening it if you want to make some changes you can do so but i don't want to do any change so i just i'll just uh, select this save and continue okay so that is also done okay fine so i think everything is done over here now if you want you can just uh, send the campaign right away or you can schedule this for example when you click on this schedule you have this thing over here you can select the date for example uh, suppose i want to send this uh, on thursday so i can select thursday and i can select the timing whenever i want to uh, add this uh, whenever i want to schedule this okay and I can just select schedule campaign and this is very important for example what happens first of all let's see it says rock on your email has been scheduled which is awesome now let's click on this uh, icon it will uh, get us to the home page now I was talking about schedule this is very important for example recently we have seen the black friday sales so it is very useful for people like us you know to sell something on those kind of days so we can schedule something on that particular day so we are i have typed everything i have prepared every newsletter and something and i can schedule that thing on that particular day so the you now purchase ratio will increase because you know when you are getting some 30 percent 40 percent discount on that particular day obviously the you are getting that only for one time in a year so the ratio will increase you will want to buy that so that is really important and uh, how and this is why we use schedules and so on okay okay so we are done with the campaign as well you can uh, these these were all the basic things that you need to know about mailchimp now let's see some more things like uh, you know integrating mailchimp with some more um, more plugins and how to create the pop-up forms uh, in a better way because i showed you we created a pop-up form but that was causing some problems so let's let's do those things now so go to your dashboard your wordpress dashboard and again i am really sorry if you're not using wordpress if you're using something else but because my channel is mainly focused on wordpress so i always create content for wordpress users primarily okay so i'm really sorry if you're not using wordpress so come to WordPress and the first thing, okay, first let me uh, get away from here because I don't want to use this uh, website. I want to use this one, my different website, nayashake.com. And let's delete this lorem ipsum. And uh, first let, let, is, let it load first. Okay, I've just uh, um, imported a, way, a dummy, some dummy contents and a simple website so that we can see everything. Now let's first integrate it with Sumomi. So open your dashboard in a new tab. 
okay so i have already connected sumo me but uh, if you don't have this don't worry you can just hover these plugins from the left hand side and click on add new and you can search for sumo me over here you can just first you can just search for sumo just type in sumo over here and you'll get these free tools to automate your site growth and this is by sumo me so select this one click on install click on activate and you'll have this thing so once you do so there are two things that will happen first you'll get this thing at the left hand side which is this sumo it says over here you can see and the second thing you'll get this thing over here when you see inside the browser you'll get this button so when you click on this button you'll be redirected to the dashboard okay so this is the dashboard so you, but if you don't see that button don't worry you can just cut this thing and you can just click on this thing over here sumo you can hover sumo and click on dashboard it will redirect you to the, uh, it will redirect you to the same page okay you have this my apps store notification sumo setting so click on sumo setting from here okay so it has redirected you to the same thing now uh, we don't want any paid plan so i'll just cut this thing we want to use the free plan we want everything free okay so we have this forms over here hover forms and click on list builder i have already created a pop-up form but don't worry i'll show you how to do that you can just click on this button which says create new form first you'll have to specify uh, the goal what is your goal to create this form so obviously our goal is to create uh, collect emails i want to collect my visitors email address and or other information but we just want to collect their email address so first we'll select this one then we'll click on this form type now we have pop up we have this welcome mat we have smart bar for example when you select this smart bar okay let me select that you'll see this thing uh this thing uh, the you have this bar at the top or at the bottom obviously you can select the position wherever you want it and the user can see this this is sticky so even if they scroll up and down they will see this bar so this is also important but let's first see the pop-up so select pop-up from here so this is how your pop-up would look like now you can design this as well so third step is to design it click on design Now we have some options over here, but most of the options are premium options. So if you want to use them, you will have to, you know, upgrade your Sumo Me plan. Uh, I, I don't want to do that. That I think this is looking nice and clean. So we do not need to do that. Okay. If you want to do some changes, you can do so. You can change this uh, text and so on. Uh, it's all up to you. If you want to change this text, which says join our newsletter, you just, you can just click on that. And you can change the uh, text for example join our instead of join our newsletter we can type in okay blog dude newsletter okay it's all up to you. you can type in anything you can change this text uh, you can click on this button okay to make some changes over here okay now here we have this submit button you can change the text uh, it says subscribe now you can just change the text to anything you can change the font you can change the color of this button and so on so you have a lot of things uh, in control okay you can design it accordingly once your design is done you can just click on visibility okay now smart mode or manual mode i would recommend going with smart mode or you can just select manual mode whatever you like okay so timed or user leaves so timed when show pop up after 5 seconds 20 seconds whatever seconds or after one minute okay and uh, user leaves so when the user leaves so this is actually the user leaves is very useful so whenever they will you know get their cursor to this button this x button to close the tab they will get that uh, pop up so that is very useful i think you can select a smart mode and just select what's going on from here and you'll have this thing okay now you can add new rules over here i i don't want to get into all those things okay so just leave that thing now click on success so what should happen when they are when they successfully put in their email address 
so if they want to download something they can download if you want to redirect them to some page you can redirect for example you can just cre uh, create a simple thank you page and you can just link this thing over there okay so you can put in this link that thank you page link over here so whenever they uh, someone puts in the email address you they will be redirected to that thank you page so that is also nice okay so this was the success option the, now the last thing is to connect to a email service which is very important so click on that six step and we have to connect to mailchimp so first option is mailchimp i have already connected you can see but if you don't see this option just click on that connect you'll get this thing okay global and you can select mailing list from your so i i will select my uh, mailing list whatever i have created and you have to disable this thing so make sure this is on now we don't want the user to go to their email box and you know their mailbox and confirm that yes i want the, to subscribe to this so we have to disable that so make sure you make this thing on okay very very important now click on save and now after you're done with all this step you can just click on this green button which says make live okay so it is saving okay so this is the one which i just created december 12th today's date now this is on now if you want to pause this thing you can pause it it's all up to you so we have us our, uh, our popper form successfully over here and you can see whether that works or not now to do so open a new tab and just type in your domain name okay so this is my website now let's scroll down and let's go up again now let's try to just you know cut this thing cut this close this thing now as you can see when we just try to close the tab uh, we got this join us e uh, e newsletter or something so this is very important you know whenever the user is trying to exit your website they are getting this thing so this is really really good or you can set the timing you had all the options like after 5 seconds after 20 seconds it's all up to you so this is 100% working which is fine which is really really amazing and you can also create a smart form that is also very easy let me show you let's click on create new form and collect emails yes form type now here instead of pop up we can select smart bar over here and this is how it will look and you can change everything from here if you want to change this text you can click on this the text if you want to change the color of the button or text of the button you can click on the button and so on and design and everything all these things are in the same thing visibility okay so okay let's select this thing let's select manual from here now where the for here you have to select sticky okay so we want this thing to be sticky at the top or if you want this at the bottom you can select bottom now we have more options like smart hide on scroll down so whenever they scroll down this thing will be hidden but i don't recommend that i think sticky is more useful so just select sticky and top and the rest everything is fine now go to success the fifth option and what happens after success you can select the same thing you can click uh, create a thank you page you can redirect them to the that page okay now collect connect to email service you have already done that but if you not done that you can select this thing from your okay the mail list and everything click on this and make this thing live now let's see whether this thing is working or not so just copy your uh, website address open this in a new incognito window and let's refresh okay so as you can see at the top we have this thing now and when we scroll down this is sticky with us okay so we have this thing and we also have this thing so if you have uh, so this is this both the things are working okay so this is nice so this is these things are very very important in getting more subscribers to your newsletter okay guys so i actually there are more things a b testing and there are many different things uh, remaining but i think for this tutorial this is it i hope this tutorial was helpful and i'll as i said you earlier i'll be creating a udemy course on that and that will be very very deep i'll be getting more uh, in deep this was basically the basic things that you can do 
and uh, uh, so i think this is it for this tutorial i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos if you find this thing helpful then you can just like this video that would really help me and share this with your friends if you really like it okay thanks a lot for watching guys see you soon